this poles are a proper and a good and significant equipment if you're on a trail or you're hiking. It doesn't make you feel old or look old, okay? What? Dramatic sceneries and endless scenic views. As you move further on these terrains, it gets harder to anticipate what's past that horizon. Cutting through vast valleys, canyons, mountains, arches, rugged red rocks, witnessing deserts transforming into vegetation and vegetation into cities. State of Utah is magical. Driving 120 miles from Valley of the Gods, we reached Moab, a city in southeastern Utah in the western United States. Known for its tourism and a must stopover for travelers, especially on the Grand Circle. We spent two days and two nights here, so we could explore major attractions like Arches and Canyonlands National Parks. So keep watching and you will find amazing views of inside of these national parks. We are going to explore Corona Arch next. This is on the way. Scenes. It's beautiful. There's a river. You see that as we come to this part of Utah, Moab, there's water, so there's more greenery, vegetation, life. The soil is more fertile. You can tell it also has the colors of fall. And on the side of the road, you see those cars parked. Those are the rock climbers. Wow, that's a lot that you see over here in this part of the world, part of Utah, part of the U.S. See, these are the drawings, 6,000 to 1,000 BC. And see along the line, you can see all those. It's interesting. These drawings all over the place, but we only could find out uh, because we had this board here which said petroglyphs which means these drawings by on the wall on the rock by the ancient people the ancient drawings yeah some more we got there all those there there he goes on and on and goes all the way well we gotta rush to the arches can't keep doing this they're all over the place, they're everywhere. The Corona arches, and you make sure you have appropriate gear. Uh, you don't just wear shorts, I just wear covered. So I don't have to. Temperature is not too hot, but the
correct, sun in your faces can be excruciating sometimes. So make sure you have your poles with you. You can find a time. You have proper shoes. And most important of all, of course, your, your hat you need. And most important of all, you need your water. Stay hydrated. It's going to be around 2.2, 2.3 miles of uh, round trip, which makes like more than maybe more than a mile one here. So I would have liked some clouds today, but it doesn't matter. So. This is important you need to do. You have to sign your name that you are here so you're accounted for. There's a railroad crossing. Look and listen. Look. So again, look, listen, let's pass. Very narrow passageways. Cool breeze makes you feel better. When people come this far, they definitely want to leave a mark. Look at these. You can play Stapu or Pertu Olgarum. People from South Asia would know what I'm talking about. Stapu or Pertu Olgarum. tree. Life always finds its ways. Let's go. This is Votai art. From these marks, you can tell that these are made by water. Take your time. <laughs> Good day. How you too? Nice people. We who come from East Coast find people in the Midwest pretty cool. Nothing against my East Coast people, but maybe people are more relaxed over here. And we are, and we in the East Coast is like. Every day's hustle and bustle makes us rough, I would say, or that way, or the way we are. 
Well, not everybody can be the same. See how this arch has formed over our millions of years? Of course, it wasn't this hollow from before. And the structure of this thing just kept shedding off, of course, with the wind and, and the natural disasters or phenomenon or whatever you want to call it. And now it presents you with a beautiful arch and, you know, it's not going to be there forever. It's so calm, it's so quiet, no sirens, no noise. These mountains, these walls are so alone that they want somebody to talk to and they respond. Listen to this. Hello? That's cool. I got friends here. Very well spent. Very well spent. 